What's up everybody, this is Eve, and I'm reviewing Fury in this video. Uh, so yeah, at the end of World War II, a young boy, former army typist, that's Logan Lerman's character, he's thrust into the middle of a war, World War II, as a gunner on a Sherman tank under the control or command of War Daddy, that's Brad Pitt's character. Now this is the end of World War II, and War Daddy and his crew are to push into the heart of Germany to end the war once and for all. Uh, but there's a catch. Um, they're running out of tanks, supplies, and they're not in the business of wasting American lives. Now, plus, the German, the German armored division is much more powerful and sophisticated than the Americans. Um, so I've got two words for this movie. I loved it. Uh, I've been impressed with some of Brad Pitt's work um, recently, uh, assassination, assassination of Jesse James. I thought he was great in that. World War Z, I know, I mean, he was alright, and he was good in that. And uh, it was a good movie, I know he, Plan B, produced it, or, you know, developed it, or whatever. And, um, you know, I felt, uh, so, Fury, um, I felt like the cinematography in this movie um, properly captured the atmosphere of mid-century war, um, mud-ridden vile, animalistic, mechanical, and um, also there's a fine line between what makes a soldier uh, a human being or a mere pawn in a chess match, and that fine line is uh, is death, and I thought they, the movie captured that really well. Um, I thought, I felt like the action sequences were very thrilling uh, and gut-wrenching, you know, uh, and you're put in the perspective more so on the kid's character, the Logan Lerman's character, and uh, and you're supposed to look up to Brad Pitt's character, and uh, you know you never feel like any of the main characters are safe. There's four of them in there, uh, with Shia LaBeouf and John Bernthal and Michael Pena, so five of them, and uh, you know all of them really good. And uh, but see, nobody is safe, and there's no reason why any one of them should survive the whole film, and the film in turn becomes a guessing game of who will survive by the end of the movie. And which I thought was, you know, really good thing to do. Um, good way to keep the audience in it. Um, the downside is obviously, well, not obviously, but I kind of thought that Logan Lerman's character was never in any real danger. You know, just the way the movie goes. Um, but that being said, besides being carefully shot and the spectacular action sequences um, get a given in a war movie, the characters themselves were the the characters themselves were very colorful and you know colorful and like you know, in their personalities um, they really gave were the silver lining through you know the limited color palette of the whole movie um, you know, which is shades of brown gray and blue you know. anyways um, I thought that the characters were sophisticated um, very well developed they were funny when they needed to be and they were philosophers when you know, they, they called for them to be um, really good dialogue, especially getting towards the end. And there's a scene in the middle of the movie where uh, at the dinner table really shows um, who they were in the character, um, you know, as characters. Uh, felt like this is one of Brad Pitt's best performances yet, or at least in recent memory. Um, and in my opinion, Child LaBeouf's best performance I've ever seen him, and I've seen. Nymphomaniac, I mean, it's not really about him, and I've seen Charlie Countryman, he was really good in that, but he's better than this, I thought. He was a much more well-rounded character, and I almost forgot he was Jewish in this character. His character's name is Bible in this one, so. <laughs> so, yeah, and uh, John Berthal is a movie star, no doubt, no questions about it. Uh, and Michael Pena is Michael Pena, lost himself in the role yet again. Um, you know, Logan Lerman, increasing his stock as he cashes in his potential and materializes it into emotional substance. That's what I wrote. And uh, by the way, my link to my blog is uh, always going to be in the comments. Uh, just FYI. And uh, I thought David Ayer, the director, writer, very good. You know, very straightforward, very Hollywood, nothing special. So I gave it three out of four stars. Um, not nothing special. Go and watch it in theaters. It's really good, really action-packed, thrilling. Um, I gave it a three out of the four stars. I don't give fractions of a star, and um, you know, it's not a masterpiece. No, I mean, but it was really good. Um, it's worth your money. It's just a lot more to say than, you know, 
a lot of other movies coming out these days. So, you know, just my thoughts. See you guys later.